teach CBSE 10 Maths. Hey guys, this is Tina. I teach CBSE 8 Maths. Check out our videos on the playlist. Alright, now let's get into the video. Today we are going to be learning Chapter 5, Arithmetic Progressions, Exercise 5.2, 15th question. Alright, now let's read the question. For what value of n are the nth terms of two APs, 63, 65, 67 and so on, and 3, 10, 17, so on equal. So here no. Uh, so there is a value for n okay but we don't know the value okay so that is so the value or the n terms of two ap's okay so in this ap uh, so here we have two ap's so first of all now let us write the two ap's at first then only you will understand okay so ap number one it is 63 comma 65 comma 67 comma and so on Okay, so AP number 2 that is 3 comma 10 comma 3 comma 10 comma 17 comma and so on. Okay, so these are the two APs. Okay, so in these two APs no, there is a nth term. Okay, so what is the meaning of term? So for example here, first term is 3, second term is uh, 10, third term is 17. Okay, so nth term is a term. Okay, but we don't know which term is it. Okay, so in which term there is a value for n and the term and the nth term of the two APs that is these both APs are equal. Okay, but we don't know the nth term. Okay, so the simple thing is we don't know the nth term. So here no, after a lot of numbers we'll have a, we'll have a number. Okay, so we might have a number but we don't know which number is it isn't it so since it is now whenever we don't know which number that is we just take it as a n isn't it so if if you guys don't know which number uh, if you guys don't know a number which will come after a lot of terms then you are supposed to take it as a n okay so here in this question now we don't know the number as well as we don't know the nth term okay so we don't know the number as well as the nth term okay so most of the questions they might have mentioned at least the number otherwise the term isn't it but here no they didn't mention the term as well as the number so we are supposed to find it okay how to find it now let us check it out okay so here when you just see uh, check it out with the first ap that is ap number 1 63 comma 65 comma 60 7 okay so now let us write the a so here the a1 is 63 and then d d is 65 minus 63 that is a2 minus a1 okay so 63 minus sorry it is 65 right yeah so a2 is 65 isn't it so 65 minus 63 it is so what is the answer when we just subtract them now we get 2 okay so the d value is 2 one second okay so now we have the a value and the d value okay so now let us substitute this value in the formula which formula of course you guys know a1 uh, sorry an is equal to a plus that formula here we don't know the an value as well as the n value it is in question mark okay all right guys so now let us apply the formula that is an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d okay so n let us write it as it is is equal to a is 63 plus n minus 1 also we don't know and then d is 2 okay so now is equal to a n is equal to 63 as it is so 2 into n we are supposed to multiply it so 2 into n is so first let us write the plus as it is so 2 into n is 2n and 1 into 2 is 2 so minus into plus is minus okay so now we got a value okay so this is the value for a n okay i know guys you guys might be wondering that why this uh, value is somewhat confusing don't worry it is we are gonna use this value okay so now for now you do you guys don't worry okay all right so now let us take a value for a p 2 okay so for a p 2 no the a value is 3 
So, here the A value is 3 and D is equal to 10 minus 3. So, A2 minus A, uh, A1. So, 10 minus 3 is 7, isn't it? Okay. So, now let us apply the formula and let us write it. So, I will just write A value is equal to 3 and D is equal to um, 7, right? Yeah, 7. So, we do not know the A n value as well as the A, uh, sorry, n value. Okay. That is in question mark. Okay. So, now let us apply the formula. So, I will just apply here. Okay. Okay. So, A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. Okay. Okay, guys. So, we are just uh, solving for A p number 2. Okay. So, already we solved for A p number 1. Okay. So, do not get confused here. So, since here it is A n, no, let us take it as A n number 1 here. So, let us take this as A n number 2. Then only you won't, you guys won't get confused. Okay, so a n number two. Let us write it as it is. We don't know the a n value. That's why. And a value is three. One second. Okay. And then plus n minus one. Let us write it as it is. So d value is seven. Okay. So I'm gonna solve it here. Okay. Okay. So here no. Let us write a n two as it is. A n two as it is is equal to three as it is. So seven into n is seven n. And minus 1 into 7 is minus 7. Okay. So, now we got the a n 2 value. Okay. Okay. So, now we have 2 values, isn't it? So, what is the use of these 2 values? Why did I get these 2 values? Why? Well, because I just substituted the values in this particular formula. Okay. So, you guys might be wondering what is the use of uh, doing it? So, now we will get to know. Okay. So, according to the question, they mentioned that for what value of n. Okay. So, here we do not know the value for n or the n terms of 2 APs. So, I know it is hard to understand. So, I will just help you guys. Okay. So, here now we have 2 APs, isn't it? So, in these 2 APs, you know, there is a number. Okay. So, for what value of n means there is a number. Uh, that is denoted as n. Okay, so there is a number, but we don't know what is that number. Okay, so I just told you guys, if you don't know which number is that, take it as a n. Okay, so here now in both the APs there is a number. Okay, so I just took it as a n. A n is a number. You can just think that there is a number that is a n. Okay, so all the n terms of two APs. Okay, so those numbers are the n term, but we don't know in which term we will get that number. Okay, so here we don't know the number, so I will just write, here we don't know which number is that. So, now what I am just talking about numbers. So, what is the meaning of numbers here? Numbers means here we have 63, 65, 67, right? So, these are the numbers, isn't it? So, here they mentioned that there is a number. Okay, that's why we don't know which number is it. Just they mentioned there is a number. Okay, all right. And that too, this number is you know. So this number, uh, we don't know that in which term we'll get this number. Okay, so that is also in question mark. So nth term means in which term will not uh, in which term will get this number. That also we don't know. So we have number as question mark as well as the term as question mark. So here they are talking about number. So number means. For example, here it is 63, 65, 67. Term means like first term, second term, third term. Okay. So, here did they mention the number? No, they did not mention the number. Did they mention in which uh, term will get that number? No, they did not mention the term as well. Okay. That is why they mentioned for what value. Okay. For what value means we are supposed to find it. Okay. But here they mentioned there are two APs that are equal. Okay, so in in these two APs, you know, we form, we took the A value, D value, and then we applied the formula, and we got two things right over here. Okay, isn't it? So we got the two things. Okay, so here now we got A n one is equal to 60, uh, 63 plus two n minus two, isn't it? So one second. So actually, we can solve them, you know. So here now. I have a okay. I'll just do it here. Okay, so a n one is equal to sixty three plus two n minus two. Okay, so is equal to so here we have sixty three and minus two. Both are constant term, right? So I can just uh, separate them. So sixty three minus two is sixty one, and then plus two n as it is. Okay. 
so this is going to be your value okay okay so similarly here when you just uh, see no here we have a and 2 once again I'll just write that so here we have a n 2 is equal to 3 plus 7 n minus 7 so here also I have constant term so when I just uh, subtract them plus and minus is minus right so when I just subtract them I get minus 4 and then plus 7 n as it is as it is and a n 2 as it is okay so now we got two values isn't it so I just forgot to um, mention that okay so now we solve it right so now we got two values I just told you guys that these two values I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna assume these two values as equal why because it is mentioned in the question equal isn't it that's why I'm gonna assume uh, these two values as equal okay the, these two values okay so since you guys know we are supposed to assume a1 is equal to a sorry an1 is equal to an2 okay so what is the an1 value so an1 value is 61 plus 2n okay so 61 plus 2n okay is equal to what is an2 value an2 value is minus 4 plus 7n okay so minus 4 plus 7n okay 7 n okay so now we just uh, showed that they both are equal okay so here we have 2 n and here also we have 7 n and here we have constant term that is 61 and here we have constant that is six, uh, minus 4 okay so I'm gonna write the 61 as it is I'm gonna get this minus 4 to this side then it changes into plus 4 okay and then here I have 7 n as it is when I get this plus 2n to that side it changes into minus 2n okay so 61 plus 4 it is 65 okay is equal to 7n minus 2 so 7n uh, minus 2 is 5n okay so 65 as it is so here it is 5 into n isn't it so since it is in multiplication when it comes to the side it changes into division okay so now we can cancel them in for fifth table so 1 5 is 5 and then here also 1 5 is 5 balance 1 5 there is a 15 so what is the n value so the n value is 13 okay so according to the question what is the value of n so the value of n is 13 okay now we know right this is what they mentioned in the question for what value of n so for what value of n means we are supposed to find the value for n right so here the value for n is 13 okay so now we know the number okay so here we got n is equal to 13. So what is the meaning of n? n -th term, isn't it? Okay. So here now, so the n -th term here it is 13. Am I right? So in these both a, b's now, they ask that which term is equal, isn't it? So in these both a, b's, which term is equal? Okay. So here since you guys know, we didn't have the a n value that is the number and we don't know the nth term isn't it so if we get to know the nth term then we can say they both are equal okay so in these both ap's no that is ap number one and ap number two no the 13th term is equal okay so here now according to the question we got to know that in these both ap's the 13th term term is equal okay how 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 much we got the n value so n is equal to 13 means the 13th term is equal okay so this is what they mentioned in the question okay so for what value of n are the n terms of two ap's okay so that mean in both the ap's now which value is equal okay so the value is 13th term okay so the 13th term in 13th term whatever number we will get now that value is equal okay so this is what you are supposed to find we just found it Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any doubt, comment me in the comment section. Catch you in the next video. Bye.